Hello, I'm Benson and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you a projector which I got from Amazon UK. This is at the moment £200 with a £10 off on-screen voucher, so it's £190. It's a 1080p um, projector from Top Pro. Um, this one have Wi-Fi function, have Bluetooth function. Now this one claims that you can project up to a 300 inch screen. So if you have big enough space, you can actually um, have a large screen. But for me here uh, in my studio, my screen is usually 100, and 100 to 120 inch. If you're interested to find out more about um, budget range of a projector, I do have a uh, playlist. So check them out. I will put the link in the description above. Now this one here from Top Pro is a model TR8. T2. So it comes with a uh, package like this, it's quite standard with a handle. Obviously everything is made in China, but it does have like a uh, German uh, office. So uh, this, is, this, this particular model is targeted for the European market. Okay, so £199 gets you a very nice package. Uh, once you open the box, you are greeted with a soft case. Because this is more a heavy duty projector rather than one of those fun sub £100 projector, it is going to be bigger in size. But bigger in size means that better heat dispersion and better optics and better light. So I expect this one to be brighter than let's say the £60 or less than a hundred pound version of the projector. It should be native 1080p rather than um, some of the listed like 720p. So we will have a look at um, the image later. So inside the carrying case, you have your projector. So let's take it out of the bag. There we go. So, I mean, um, it is quite substantial compared to some of the more ultra portable um, projector. So this is a projector and you got a projector's lens of a 188mm lens and then the adjustment of the focus usually here so you got your normal focusing ring and maybe the keystone. In the front here you got dual speaker in the front, front facing speaker. So on the side here you got the uh, filter for filtering dust, it's very important so you don't want the dust to go inside your uh, lamp and then they become a dot on your screen. Uh, power cables go here, switches on the back. In terms of input, at the back here you got, you got audio out, audio in, a uh, video, kind of a uh, digital coxo uh, video input. HDMI 1 and HDMI 2, so you've got two HMD, HDMI input right there. And then you've got two USB ports at the back. That is pretty much quite standard. Um, infrared sensor on the front and the back, so you can use the remote control both back and front. On the top, you've got power buttons and a few other navigational buttons on the top here and an LED indicator. Um, plastic casings throughout, but I do quite like the build of this product. Most of the projector on the market can be mounted upside down and there will be a digital function where you can actually flip the screen so that it faces the right way. If you peel off any of the rubber feet on most of the projector, you will find that there is kind of a thread threaded the hole at the underneath. So you just basically use your mount and then you thread it into the hang it upside down like that. On the side here, you got this uh, filter, removable filter. It's very important that you hoover this up, you know, from time to time and make sure that when you are actually handling the filter, make sure you take them out slowly because you don't want the dust to fall inside into your machine and get carried into in front of the LCD or the light. So at the bottom here, you got a trap door. So if you do have dust or dead spots kind of um, obstructing the screen, for example, if the dust went onto the lens and you can see a kind of a black area, you can always hoover this out by opening the flap. But I do strongly recommend doing it in a clean environment so you don't introduce any foreign object or dust into your machine. But this makes uh, maintaining your machine a lot easier. Accessory comes in a separate box right here. You got a simple remote and then you got a cable, which is usually not enough to get to your socket. So either you use an extension or buy this thing like cheap to make it longer. HDMI cable, important. And then you've got a few accessories if you want to attach any other non-digital, non-HDMI um, feed. 
Okay, in terms of the menu, it's quite well written. I mean, there's no kind of a broken English or stuff like that. I think they did spend some time making sure that, you know, the language is correct. And before I set this up on screen, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel if you like my content. And uh, let's set it up and have a look. Okay, so this is my usual setup and I have it on my stool at the moment and this is the front of the projector where you can see the lens is lit up I mean it's a good looking machine I do like the white and black kind of a combination thing so I can hear the fan from here but it's kind of a humming noise it is louder than I want it to be but um, it does need to have heat dispersion so I do understand why uh, most of the projectors have this problem it's quite bright over there. I did switch off the room light on this side. So, I mean, um, this is bright enough to be used in this kind of condition, but later on, I'm gonna turn off the light for my workbench in total darkness. But this is pretty impressive, I think. I mean, I did test a couple of projectors around the same price range. Um, this one slightly, I think, have the edge. Definitely this one have the edge, but we are talking about 2000 and 21 so this is kind of like the next generation of um, this current um, budget and the other thing i noticed straight away is the menu system so this one looks different from um, the software that everyone else use in terms of um, projector and it's pretty responsive in terms of um, navigating through through the projector setup is quite easy so this is the first time i see this kind of a setup screen so at the moment obviously i have it on the desk just like it say but if you mount it on the ceiling it does flip it around for you okay now it's connected to my studio wi-fi so time to test out some function of this machine hello youtube and welcome to my channel my name is benson and today i've got something very exciting to show you which just came out recently now now I have to pause it to show you guys. So this is definitely not 1080p. Um, the built-in software for viewing YouTube looks like they are not using the full bandwidth available uh, because I shot this in 4K. And you... Mode. Oh, there you go. Smooth, <laughs> high definition, of course. I need to high definition, right? All region, yep. So maybe that changes to high definition would be better so let's try that again let's give it one more go hello youtube and welcome to my channel my name is benson and today i've got something very exciting to show you so yeah so definitely out of the box is on smooth if you change it to high definition it's slightly better but i still see a lot of like you know um pixelated um, thing which you shouldn't see in this kind of uh, 1080p projector okay now i have my usb drive um, plugged in uh, basically, it's a hard drive with a USB caddy. Uh, Alexa, turn off bench. Okay. Okay, so on the, on the, on the left-hand side, you've got like photo, music, movie. Okay, and then a simple file system over here. And so compared to just now um, playing off YouTube, this is definitely miles better. This is supposed to be like 1080p. Volume at the moment is 45 and I'm sitting like about a meter away from the speakers. I would say at about 70 volume, you can't really hear the fan anymore. Now, because the speaker is actually in front of the projector, you get a much better sound when you're in the front. And just for size comparison, this is my full size of the wall. So it's 120 from uh, corner to corner. Um, I don't know if you can see the sharpness of the screen, but to be honest with you, this is kind of as good as you get for uh, about 200 pounds. I'm standing about four, three meters away, maybe from the screen. And um, you can't really see much pixels on the screen but i mean focusing wise yes it's still a bit soft on the end uh, it's still really sharp in the middle but apart from that it's not bad at all i can see the details of the hut quite well i mean even the door you know the panel where the wood 
grain or the wood kind of a strips of wood i can see you know a bit of the paint going downwards you got a lot of uh, chrom uh what do you call them uh, chromatic aberration so basically the lines start to get blurred and you get those kind of a purple fin fringe but this is at the edge of the screen so this is kind of um unavoidable with this kind of a budget um, projector in terms of distance wise 120 inch at around i would say six meters maybe seven meters let's say my uh my projection wall is only like this size up here but i can't have the projector too close to the wall so for example you can go to picture set and then you go to uh, zoom set and then here you can actually change the ratio of your um, overscan so here effectively what they are doing is i think it's reducing the um, the screen the lcd size so without moving the projector any closer to the wall you can have a screen which is actually smaller in size now you can't work the other way around for example if you want 120 inch uh, screen like i had previously you have to have the projector at at least like six or seven meters away but um, to reduce in size and that's fine in terms of uh, picture decoration um yeah i i mean i can see like you know a bit of pixels on there so if you're sitting very close to this screen at, at this size you you will see um the picture not as i have to say uh not really pretty i mean if you want a smaller screen it's still better to have the projector closer to the wall now i have an iphone right here at the moment so um, we are connected to the same network so both the projector and the phone is on the same network all you need to do is go to your uh, menu and choose screen mirroring and you will see your projector uh, name come up now if it doesn't come up that means that you know your machine might be problem or your router maybe have some security setting which is stopping it from running if you click on that and then start airplay and that's all it is there is no magic so this is pretty amazing playing a phone game on the brick screen i mean uh, i have done it before but it never felt to amaze me that you know how different it feels playing on a kind of a 120 inch screen there's a bit of lag but i don't know if it is my wi-fi or is it the connection now the biggest problem i have with streaming um, video from let's say my subscription based um, service is that it will not work on any of the projector because of the built-in um, codec uh, protection this is nothing to do with the projector this is more to do with um, the current technology limiting you to use a specific device um, to play any streaming video so if you want to just connect your phone wirelessly and play video like that it doesn't work so the best way to enjoy your streaming video and all that is through a fire stick or um, chromecast i can still watch my cartoon now because it will now show on screen so compared to just now it refused to play but now the full screen experience is so much a uh, smoother experience when you are actually using the fire stick so this is highly recommended the first few seconds i think it was like buffering so it was a bit blurry but once it into like you know full streaming mode is perfect okay another common uh, questions that you guys ask is uh, does bluetooth work yes bluetooth does work for sound so what you can do is um, sound set and then go to sound mode change it to bluetooth there we go so that's the device so if i press connect so now the sound instead of coming from the um, projector is coming from my bluetooth 
handheld kind of um, speaker. Obviously, this is the low level one. I do have a very nice sound bar that I can connect to, but just for this video, I'm going to show you. Now this um, speaker, because it's Bluetooth, it does two things. One is because you're sitting away from the um, the projector, the sound is much better when it's near near you. Okay, so here is just a bit of a more close up for you guys. So I am about a meter away from the wall. So on the edge here is a bit more. Uh, darker i think a bit blurry but in the middle is that sharp it's more profound when you see like the corner that that particular corner you can see, you see a bit of uh, van netting but overall i have to say like it's very good you really have to be really close to the wall before you see the pixels but if you are standing back a little bit like you normally would watch a video then you know it's okay and obviously here is not completely dark. We still got a lot of light coming through. So I expect it to be even better when it's completely dark. So this is the ending of my video. A 200 pound projector that I got from Amazon UK, Top Pro. This is a company that I haven't used before, but to be honest with you, it stands out quite well. And uh, middle sharp, edge is a bit blurry, but for 200 pound, I think that is of expected. Uh, mirror, screen mirror works okay. Um, hopefully you guys will have no problem. A lot of people watch my video because they run into problem. But I literally didn't do anything different from just what the menu tell me to do so. The menu system is actually really snappy compared to what other companies have been using for the last couple of years. So that is something fresh and nice to see. Fan noise here, I don't know. If I come really close, you probably will hear it. But if you turn the volume to about 40 or 50 onwards, then you probably drown out the noise anyway. And if you really need to, use a Bluetooth device and you get a better sound. There's sometimes, it uh, depends on your Bluetooth device, the cheaper one, you can have a bit of delay, but um, yeah, or you can just wire, hardwire it into whatever that you have. If you are limited in size, so for example, if your room size is a bit smaller, and you want to have a smaller screen, but you want to maintain the same distance from um, before, then you can use that function to reduce the screen size to what you need on the wall. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next time with more interesting gadgets. Thank you and bye-bye.